a 21-year-old with a multi-million dollar business, people often assume that I must be a very confident person, stepping outside of social norms, going against the grain, and being the youngest and a lot of the time only female in a lot of the business rooms I enter. People go, wow, that girl must have hit the confidence jackpot. Whatever DNA her parents intertwined together must have worked wonders. And as nice as that would have been, Confidence definitely wasn't a trait I inherited. So if this sounds like you, I have good news for you. I was actually the quiet kid in class, never raised my hand, never asked questions, and was actually quite horribly bullied. I was told the world would be a better place if I wasn't in it, made fun of, and ate a lot of my lunches in the toilet. This is me, 14-year-old <laughs> me. And if she knew her face was being shown up on a TEDx screen in front of you all today, <laughs> I don't know what she'd say. To be fair, I think she'd be too scared to say anything. But fast forward a few years, I'm 17, I'm sat in my bedroom procrastinating my year 12 economics exam prep, <laughs> as I'm very good at, and I started to really think about life. Right, year 12, ATAR, I'm learning so much about history and maths and the Great Depression, but when it came to life skills, the things that I felt like I needed, like managing conflict in a relationship, healthy food, taxes, who teaches you anything about taxes? I had no idea. And more than that, I was bullied. I really struggled to find a community. I had no idea where to go. And I sat there and I went, where's a place that I can put all this together? And I went, I'm always on my phone. An app's the perfect solution for this problem. So, got rid of my economics exam prep, opened a new tab and searched up how to make an app. And in that moment, decided I was going to create the app of all apps. I'd never done code before, had no idea what I was doing, but I had a good intention behind that and I knew that's what I wanted to do. So I did. Up until that point, though, I had no idea what I wanted to do when I finished school. I felt like all the people around me had very clear pathways forward. They wanted to be doctors and lawyers and dancers and had an active path and push forward to make that happen. But for me, as I said, I was a very self-conscious, not very confident person at all. And the idea of picking something that I had to do for the rest of my life as a teenager was terrifying. So I did it. <laughs> and it wasn't until I was sat in my room creating this app and actively pushing myself towards this goal of making this app that could help people like I felt like I needed that I started to do that. Which I guess is a really good point. Do you feel like you are actively pushing towards your dreams, the things you want to do? And I want you to think about something. It doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be small, but what's something that's niggling in the back of your mind that you're like, oh, just wish I did that, right? Moving to a new country, creating an app, <laughs> if it's researching what you want to do, business, whatever it is, why haven't you done it, right? I said, I had no idea how to make an app. YouTube helped me, <laughs> right? We have access to millions of resources all at the palm of our hands that we can access at any time. With how-to guides, step-by-step, podcasts, people that are feeling the exact same way you are right now, who have moved through that feeling and made it happen, right? I searched up how to make an app, right? 25 billion resources appeared when I did that. You Google, moving to a new country, a billion resources appear, right? That information is there, right in front of you, black and white, resources at your hand. But it's hard, we Google all the time, but when it comes to the things we actually want in life, that's when that gets hard. And the reason for this, a lot of the time, is fear. And fear holds us back from so many things. And excuses I hear a lot is, my life's okay, I don't know, I'm studying something I really don't want to do, but hey, like, that's fine. <laughs> or, oh my God, I feel like I'm living the same day over and over again, but hey, that's fine, that's a, that's a tomorrow problem, right? If your voice goes really high and squeaky, that's a sign that it's not, <laughs> right? So, what do we do about this? Fear is huge, right? Fear of judgment, fear of the unknown, fear of stepping outside of your comfort zone. Fear is huge. I kind of glamorized my journey before, right? I said, 
17, made enough my bedroom. Hello, I'm here on this square. My name's Lexi, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> but there's a few more steps involved with that, right? Yes, I created an app in my bedroom at 17. But I was also a very self-conscious person. So when it came time to end year 12, perfect, you're done, and all my friends went off to uni, do you think I went, oh, cool, I'm just going to go this way. I have no idea what I'm doing, but this is my dream. <laughs> of course not. I went, perfect, you've got a map forward that I can take steps and I know how to get there. Of course I went that way, right? I let fear win. And it wasn't until I was sat in those lecture theatres that I went, oh, this kind of sucks. <laughs> this isn't what I want to be doing. And in that moment, decided I was never going to let that fear win again. Instead, I was going to actively push for the things that I wanted, knowing that they were going to scare me, but knowing the alternative was scarier. And with this, I decided, let's make her help everything I wanted it to be. And the months that follow, I was in TV, radio, podcasts, all these things, and pushed towards it. I told myself that, yes, it was going to make me uncomfortable, but that's how I grew. You want me to speak in front of 1,000 people at 18? Sure. <laughs> you want to have business meetings with me to chat about lawyers and insurance and tax, right? Sure, I have no idea what you're saying, but send me the bill or don't. <laughs> Turns out, very expensive. <laughs> you want me to go on an international trip for two weeks focused on innovation with 60 people I don't know? Yeah, okay. I cried the whole way from my house to the international airport, which is a two-hour drive, and I sobbed the whole way there because I was so scared. But sure, right? I have to get comfortable being uncomfortable because that's how I grow. And I proved to myself that I could do hard things over and over, and slowly but surely, I built up that confidence within myself. Now, I really had to test this only a few months ago. My cousin surprised me with a skydive for my 21st birthday. <laughs> now to preface, my greatest fear is heights, like my feet firmly on the ground. <laughs> but I'm also not going to refuse a present, right? The whole way to the airport, all I kept saying to myself over and over and over again was, you've spoken in front of thousands of people, you can do this. You've proven yourself as a young woman in business, you can do this. Hey, you went on a trip, two weeks international, and you survived, and you thrived. You can do this, right? So I'm sat there on the edge of that plane, about to jump. My comfort zone, the safety of the man-made system that I've come to love, and I knew in order to grow, to become a better person, and to live up to that promise I made to myself, I needed to jump. Right, as you can see there, <laughs> as you can see there, did it mostly with my eyes closed because it was the scariest thing I've ever done. <laughs> right, but I did that, and I proved to myself that I could do hard things. A great example of that is being here today on this red dot. This, super uncomfortable and scary. I've been stressed about this for weeks, right? But when I get off this stage, I'm going to go, oh, OK, I feel better. I feel like I've grown. I've become better. And I've proven to myself that I can do hard things, right? Now, I'm not saying everyone needs to jump out of a plane. I'm not saying everyone needs to do a TEDx talk. And I'm definitely not saying everyone needs to make a nap. Turns out, flooded market. Prefer if you didn't. <laughs> but what I am saying is that you can do hard things. And I promise you, you have more power than you ever believe. And when you start pushing for that and striving for that, I promise you, you can create the life that you want for yourself. But I want you to remember, that nothing changes if nothing changes. Thank you. Thank you.